welcome back to Let's Play The Dream Theory. Something interesting of note for anybody that's going to play this game. When you hit load game, it will play the initial cutscene that, well, I call it a cutscene, it was an audio thing that uh, happened at the start of the game and, you know, presenting Dream Theory Part 2, Maxima Games, Made in Click Team Fusion. Yeah, it plays that, which at first made me think it had lost my save file and in fact it just plays that and then puts you right back where you were. So just a little disclaimer that if you play it, be prepared for that to happen. No, it hasn't lost your save. Or at least it didn't lose mine. I hope that means it doesn't lose it normally. One thing interesting is this time it says there's only one item to find. I'm slightly concerned by that. I'm also assuming that means that that one item is going to be very far from the starting area. So I'm going to ignore the side paths and just go straight for either the that building we went to at the first. Your quiet appearances are nowhere near as bothersome as your uh, loud ones. The audio input makes it a lot more jarring. Okay, that Yes, violin group, we know you're here. Shoot. Uh, the, when, when it makes a noise as it appears, it's more jarring for an individual. Not just in this game, but in anything in life, the more senses you can engage in the scare, the, uh, eh, just the better it works, generally. Not always. As I get closer to this area, I'm, there he is. I kind of figured right there. I also figured that the item would have been here, though. Go away, Slappy Bob. I got time for you today. Hmm. Hmm. He's slightly to the s south of that intersection. You weren't there before. I walked through there. There it is. I took a wrong turn, and that, that legitimately startled me. I think he's getting a little antsy. You don't like that I'm talking smack about him. Now, what was I going to say? Ah, oh, yes. The fact that there's only one item. Item is slightly concerning. I'm always expecting him to appear right at the door is why I, Paul, I always hesitate right there. Tragedy in school. A tragic event struck a local school named St. Alliston School. A student named Jonathan Collins was found dead at 7 a.m. in one of the rooms of the school. He committed suicide by hanging himself. I'm sorry, the grammar there is slightly... They're, they're being vague. The He committed suicide by hanging himself, or he hung himself, would have been a little more concise. Also, the justified font stands out at certain points. But anyway... Later, A student, you capitalize that A, that's an important, that's student A, not student B, not student C, that's student A confessed that he locked the boy into the room, but he added, I was just joking, I never meant to hurt him, I promise. Oh, it was just a prank, bruh. Oh, we've all heard that one. His name is Henry Clayton. Police didn't do anything with Clayton, as he's only a student. It is not confirmed yet if the school will have to close. Reroll, fall, imp, the, that, relay, the, be, of, a uh, arn. Uh, I don't remember if Henry Clayton's the dad or the son at this point. Oh, I'm sorry. Names are not my strong suit, and the, uh, the names of the characters don't come up often enough for me to have memorized. Awaken. Final part. Okay, and space part. You will die? No! No, not today! Not today. Yeah! Okay, so that's where you're gonna come in from, from between. Why are there gaps in the lockers?
I mean, that's just a really bad usage of space. Unless each of those leads to doors, in which case you have a really odd number of classrooms. Not really the most suspenseful music, more of a uh, I'm being chased music. Since the spacebar is the only thing I have to really tap, it's, it's, it still lacks that full engagement. One thing of interesting note, the full version of Beyond the Static has come out, and I will be looking at that soon. So we will see. Uh, since it's made by the same developer, he may have advanced his uh, coding and game making ability in these areas to make the. Oh! Excuse me? I must have been talking so much I didn't hear his cue. Uh, we'll see if he made these areas or areas similar to this. It's a different game, mind you, but it had the Shadow Man. Uh, see if they're more interactive and less just about tapping a key at the right time. That was one of the things that did make the uh, Five Nights games a lot more interactive for people was the fact that you had a lot of different things to be keeping track of instead of just one thing. Because dealing with just the one thing makes it semi-repetitive. Of course, when you have multiple things going on from a coding stance side, you have to make sure that they don't overlap with each other in unwinnable ways. Because you want your game to be winnable and not, like, by random luck. You want it to be by skill, hopefully. Not by, did the random number generator smile upon me. So I'm assuming there's a spot I just didn't see him in. We're almost to the one minute mark. Yep, there's one minute down! It seems to just be a few seconds. Boom. I don't know how well that translates into the recording. It seemed a little quiet on the, on the recording. It's actually a fairly audible thump when he uh, changes positions or appears. Doesn't make any sound when he disappears though, but it seems to be less less than a few seconds. Like the sound of a very loud heartbeat. Like single beat, not bump bump. It's boom. I'm assuming that the key is, like I said before, that you have to be looking at him and have the camera up. So if you just keep the camera up, you won't know where to look. And so by not having been looking in the correct direction, you would lose. One minute left. 55 seconds left. Wow, five seconds went by so fast. That one is jarring. 40 seconds. That music, it's very nice music, don't get me wrong. It just doesn't seem fitting of this particular moment of the game. It just feels more like chase scene music. And now it's gone completely. I've insulted the music so much that Slappy Bob turned it off. I liked the music, it just didn't fit this scenario. It had a different vibe to it. Five seconds. I win. Daniel. I, I am recording this message for you. Please, please show this to the world when I am... I'm gone. He's dead. She took him. My, my, my son is... He's dead. And... Now I, I have a plan. A plan I will... Will not regret. And I... I will do something that... That everyone will remember. Something... Something historical. 
Yesterday, St. Alliston School was burned to the ground. The cause of the fire is as of yet unknown, but two people were in the building during the fire. Henry Clayton, who was the headmaster, and Jasmine Collins. The fire started at 8 p.m. and ended at 10.20 p.m. Police are still investigating. Press enter to continue. Uh. Do I click them? Ah, the spark. In 2001, a boy named Jonathan Collins was bullied by three other students, Martin Galloway, David Carter, and Henry Clayton. The only person who protected the boy from the bullies was his sister. But one day, Clayton closed the boy into one of the rooms of the school and said, No one likes you, Jonathan. Kill yourself. And so did the boy. Or, and the boy did... <laughs> and the boy killed himself. And this was the first accident that happened at St. Alliston School. The boy's sister changed schools, and although she knew the exact reason for her brother's suicide, she didn't tell anyone. She wanted to take her revenge. In 2002, the sister, Jasmine Collins, kidnapped Martin Galloway, one of the bullies, and dragged him into the same room where Clayton closed her brother. She closed him into the room. There were only two things in the room, a rope hanging from above and a stool. Martin knew what this meant, either suicide or dying slowly in the room because Jasmine won't let him out. Martin Galloway committed suicide. Police were investigating hardly, but nothing was found. Maybe hardily? Police were investigating, but nothing was found. Only some footage of Jasmine entering and leaving the school. At this time, Henry Clayton made up the story of a shadowy figure who takes away children in the darkness. The suicides were covered this way. In 2003, David Carter died the same way as Martin Galloway. The children were sure that this was the shadow man, but adults and police knew that it was another suicide. The headmaster, Dallas Grimshaw, was forced to close the school. In 2015, Henry Clayton reopened St. Alliston School. He knew that Jasmine will come back for him, and he planned to murder her the first time murder her the first time she enters the school, and he sees her. But again, only footage of the woman was found. No one has seen her in real life. Strange events started to happen, and Peter Anderson was kidnapped, but was later found in the forest. And it is not proven that this was committed by Jasmine. Later, Jasmine kidnapped the son of Henry and killed the same way as she did the bullies. Henry fell into depression about his son's death and burned the school down. But the one thing he didn't know, as he committed suicide by burning the school, Jasmine Collins was in the building planning another mur murder. She and Clayton burned together. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. It's a very interesting game. A little bit confusing, and uh, some, of the, some of the gameplay concepts are a little quirky, but... Not, uh, you know, nothing I would say in any way bad. It's just you can tell that it's one of his older games. Uh, I would try, I would make the segments a little, I would, if you were to remake it, I would recommend making the segments a little more interactive. The placement in the forest a little less predictable. Maybe mix that up, have some other things going on in the forest than just roaming that one singular map looking for stuff on the ground. And uh, the shadow sections being less about just, uh, you know, tapping a space bar at the right moment. The one in the bedroom, at least you had to go under the bed. No, that was the only thing you did, though. So it was either under the bed or, or that. But uh, either way, it's a very nice game. It is on Game Jolt. Search for Maximer Games or just search for the Dream Theory. It's in the indie horror section. I really enjoyed playing it and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you didn't, uh, sorry. If there's anything I can do better, let me know. And if you did, thank you. Uh, appreciate your time, trouble, and energy for watching. And as always, I will see you next time on the next game, which I'm looking at some, some smaller indie games, and then I will make my way back to Beyond the Static since the full version has been released. But in any case, I will see you next time.